we've created a device or radar system, if you like, which is uh, designed to scan people at a distance, uh, typically 20 meters, 10 meters with a small variant, uh, for threat items and non-threat items. The, the system is able to discriminate between the two quite effectively. So, for example, if you're carrying a, uh, a mobile phone, it'll pick that up, but uh, classify it as a non-threat item. If you're carrying a handgun or PBIED, that's a person-born improvised explosive device, it will alarm strongly on those at an appropriate part on the scan, as the scan is done over the body. This is a prototype of the uh, radar scanning unit. It sends a beam of microwaves out towards the person. There are two receivers there which look at the return signal. Uh, the information is relayed to a computer in the device and the user sees on the screen exactly which part of the person is being screened or scanned at the time. It's able to scan a person uh, very quickly at a significant distance, for example 20 metres, which is useful for uh, railway stations, uh, airports, uh, underground scenarios. It will quickly detect PBIDs or handguns on people at that distance and, and alarm. The false alarm rates, uh, i.e. the false detection rates, is very, very low with this device. The power that's used and the power that goes towards a person is, is thousands of times lower than a mobile phone, so it's completely harmless. These devices will essentially detect most carried items on the body, but it is able by analysing uh, the, the returns to discriminate between, say, mobile phones, keys, all the range of non-threat items and something that could be harmful, such as particularly handguns and uh, PBIEDs. So it has that ability built into the software on the device. Uh, the user doesn't have to make any decisions on the classification of these objects. And all the user sees is a visual image of the person, uh, a circle uh, outlining where the beam is, is, is sweeping at the time, and an analysis of the threat whether it's threat, uh, harmless, no threat carried at all. The operator sees uh, purely a visual image from a camera. The microwaves do go through clothing and scan for uh, any of these items. There are no privacy issues in that regard at all. The user sees through the camera of what they will see through their eyes. This is proven technology that's been through uh, a whole series of trials. Uh, the effectiveness of, of the technique is not in doubt. These are uh, prototypes, these two devices, which have been uh, built in our mechanical workshops. The next step for this device is to turn it into uh, an attractive and effective commercial product. We have commercial interest now in these devices. It will be the job of the industrial partner to uh, reproduce them and re-engineer them more effectively to be suitable for everyday use in the field or wherever an application arises.